You guys are not going to believe this. You are not going to believe this. I just spent a full day with like 250 socialists at a day long socialist conference at Hampshire College. I was got here at like 8.30 this morning. It's what, like 6 o'clock now? I'm wrapping up, about to drive home. I... And I was like undercover. I had to wear a mask and everything. <laughs> they thought I was one of them. You are not going to effing believe the things that I heard today. You guys think the socialists are crazy online? No. No. No, 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 no. They are next level insane when they think they're only around people who agree with them. None, none of the clips that you have ever seen from Libs of TikTok is more than what I saw today. I, I promise you that. I promise you. Now, I didn't record it. I couldn't record it. But I have lots of pictures. I took like 25 pages worth of notes. I have so much literature that I got at the conference. I have like a four page pamphlet of every single trans book uh, directed at elementary school kids. I have, I got to go on a, on a, on a tour of how you self manage your abortion. And did you know that when you self manage your abortion, it's nice to have a nice cup of tea and a warm bed that you can relax in. And oh, by the way, an abortion doula that will sit next to you while you're on the toilet bleeding out the child. And, and mind you, I'm pro-choice, but I'm not this pro-choice. They actually recommended getting an abortion doula to, to hold your hand as you are sitting on the toilet bleeding from self-managing your abortion. If I had gotten to the self-managed abortion tour, tour earlier in the day, I could have gotten a free t-shirt with the names of the pills that you take to self-manage your abortion. And by the way, the, the toilet is not the last stop on the self-managed abortion tour. The shrine with crystals and candles where you, where you take care of yourself and your spiritual needs following the self-managed abortion is the last stop on the tour. I've got pictures of all of this. I sat in on, I realized I was in one breakout session and I realized while I was in the breakout session that the woman leading the session had blocked me on Twitter, which was hilarious. Thank God I was wearing a mask. I almost burst out laughing. I was also in a session with the woman who runs the Institute for the Research into Male Supremacy. And that session was a trip, man. I was sitting in that session and I looked around the room and there are all these college students, these gender studies majors, they all had shaved heads, unshaved legs, unshaved armpits, the whole nine. I have never been around this many socialists in my life. I was like, I am quite literally in an episode of Socialism Saturday right now. I am in the episode. And I almost burst out laughing in the middle of the session because it was so absurd. And the things they were saying were so insane. I can't wait to tell you guys all about it. I really can't. But I had to post this quick update. I have to drive home. If you want to hear more about it, I will be tackling it. I will show you all my pictures. I will show you all the literature. I will show you all the receipts. By the way, there's a trans kids center in Western Massachusetts that starts working with kids at two years old. I've got all the receipts and I'm going to be sharing it all with you on my Substack, Carlin, K-A-R-L-Y-N dot Substack dot com. Carlin, K-A-R-L-Y-N dot Substack dot com. Go and subscribe. You're not going to believe it. All right, guys, take care. We'll see you soon.